So far, we have been doing very basic stuff like outputting string to the browser and basic math. In order to do complex things, we need a way to be able to store values that is being used in our scripts. And in programming, we can achieve this by using variables. A variable is a container that stores information. It can store both numbers and string and even complex data. Before we begin looking at how to use variables in PHP, there are certain rules that we need to know when it comes to declaring a variable, assigning a value to a variable, and using a variable inside of our script. So the very first rule I will, I'm going to talk to you about is that if all variables in PHP starts with a dollar sign. If you can see here, I have var, and before the word var, there is a dollar sign. If you're going to de define a variable, it must start with a dollar sign. Immediately after the dollar sign, we can have a letter or an underscore. So basically, the name of a variable can be a combination of any alphanumeric character, but it must begin with either a letter or an underscore. So for example, I cannot come here and put a three. This would be a bad naming convention, and PHP will immediately tell me that there's an error here. So if we come over to the browser, do a refresh, you can see that there's an error being displayed to the browser. This is because PHP doesn't allow us to start the name of a variable using a number. Can we start with an underscore? Yes, we can start with an underscore. We can start with a letter, but we cannot start with a number. All right, so another thing is when we are naming variable, I can use an underscore like we've seen here. I can use numbers after the first letter or the first underscore. So I can use a number here. This is still valid, but I cannot use any other character like an iPhone, the pound sign, or the star. So all these are all invalid. So we can use alphanumeric characters and underscore when we are naming variables in php all right another thing to take note of is in php we cannot use reserve words as variable names so there are certain reserves word in php for example i come here and say protected this is a reserve word in php i cannot use this as the name of my variable obviously but if i were to come here and put a dollar sign then this is no longer treated as a reserve word, then I can use it like this. But using this, the compiler is not going to be able to interpret your programs, definitely going to throw an error. So let me hear, unexpected protected. Okay, so we cannot use reserve words in uh, PHP. For a list of reserve words, you can do a simple Google search. It's a reserve words in PHP. And here you can see some PHP keywords. These are keywords that are uh, exclusive to the language. We cannot use them as our variable name. Here you can see switch, print, include, for, end switch, empty, and so on. Remember previously that I, I mentioned that PHP is not case sensitive. That is true when it comes to things like the keywords or the reserve words that I'm talking about just now. But when it comes to naming variables, PHP is case sensitive. Var here is actually very different from this. There are two different things. When I declare a variable here all lowercase and I declare another variable here all uppercase, they are two different things. Let's just illustrate this. Go to the browser and do a refresh. I did not echo at this, so we can just do echo and then refresh. You can see that both are two different things. So we need to take note of that. Generally in programming, we have things like variable initialization, variable declaration. What I've actually done here is to declare a variable. And you can see that actually this variable doesn't have a value. So when I create a variable like this, it is actually referred to as the variable declaration. But now we have not assigned any value to this variable. So to assign a value to this variable, we use the equal sign and then put the value at the right hand side. 
So what I've done now is actually referred to as variable initialization. So the, the moment when we assign a value to this variable, we have actually initialized the variable. To wrap up this lecture, PHP is a loosely typed programming language. What this means essentially is that PHP doesn't force you to declare the type of value that you want to store inside of a variable. For example, I have this variable here, test. I can decide to put a number or leave it as it were, a string. So in other programming languages like Java, you will be forced to declare the type of value that you want to store in this variable test. So if it were going to be an integer, you need to type int it with the word int to tell Java that this, is good, this variable is going to hold integer value. But in PHP, we don't need to do this. PHP will automatically detect the type of data that is being stored in the variable. So this is why we say it is a loosely typed language. All right, so in the next lecture, we'll talk about variable scope in PHP.